The Ring of Gyges is a mythical and powerful artifact spoken of by Plato in Book Two of his Republic, written around 375 BC. In the Republic, Plato's older brother Glaucon tells us of a lowly shepherd named Gyges, who lived in the 7th century BC in the Kingdom of Lydia, which was located in Asia Minor, south of the Black Sea, where the country of Turkey stands today. According to Glaucon, following an almighty earthquake, a fissure was opened up in the earth, which revealed to Gyges a hidden cave. Inside the cave, Gyges found a large bronze tomb, fashioned into the shape of a horse, and inside the tomb lay the body of a being described as larger than any human. This being was entirely unadorned save for a single golden ring on one of its fingers, which Gyges took for himself. It was not long after, however, before Gyges realized that this was no ordinary ring, for just by turning the collet at the top, the ring gave Gyges the power to become completely invisible. Armed with this extraordinary power, the lowly shepherd Gyges stole into the royal castle and seduced the queen, murdered the king, and usurped his throne to become ruler of the kingdom of Lydia himself. For Plato, the point of this story was to illustrate that the only thing that keeps people from acting immorally is the fear of getting caught. Indeed, given the power to become completely invisible, to act without fear of punishment, then according to Plato, no person can be imagined to be of such iron nature as to stand fast in justice. Plato's idea that people act morally not due to choice, but rather out of necessity, went on to influence many philosophers, including the political philosopher Thomas Hobbes, who believed that the natural state of mankind is to be violent and barbarous and that without the imposition of society and law to keep us in check, the lives of men would be, as he famously put it, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In addition to contributing to our moral and political philosophy, the fable of the Ring of Gyges has also found its way into our popular culture, with books like H.G. Wells' Invisible Man and, of course, J.R.R. Tolkien's One Ring to Rule Them All, featured in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. And although the allegory of the Ring of Gyges is more than 2,000 years old, it arguably would appear to be more relevant today than ever before. Firstly, in modern times, millions of people interact online anonymously, almost as if they were invisible. And this has arguably exacerbated various injustices, such as trolling, online fraud, and cyberbullying. Secondly, owing to the vast size of our population, individual relationships, be they personal or professional, have diminished in value and have almost become disposable. Consequently, rather than taking responsibility for our actions and seeking to change ourselves, today it is far easier to slip invisibly through the cracks in society and simply change our job or social circle. And finally, with news media cycles transitioning at such a fast pace, and with our attention spans getting shorter by the day, the rich and powerful in society are able to act with relative impunity, as they know that nothing they do, no matter how scandalous, will remain visible to the public long enough for them to face any significant repercussions. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.